All right. So that was for a, a basically a, a linear interpolation, right? We just assumed a, the polynomial was C1 plus C2x, right? So we're just assuming that the fields, in this case, U, which, you know, you could think of it as a displacement or temperature or whatever. So the field is just linear across the element. But what, if, what about if we wanted to assume a quadratic field across the element, right? So for a quadratic field, we'd have, so for a quadratic interpolant, you have that u of h is equal to, this time, I, I'm going to start trying to use n. I think n is, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's more common, but uh, you see n used a lot for shape functions. So I'm going to try to use n from here on. So, uh, so you have nj, uh, uj. So uh, just to back up, I mean, this is the same thing, right? I'm just using a different symbol to mean the shape function matrix. All right, so for a quadratic field, we'd have C1 plus C2x plus C3x squared. And if we assume a coordinate system local to the element, so just understand this is just one element, right? And whenever you have an interior node to the element, I'll try to draw it not not colored in like this. So you have a you have an interior node. This is this is still one element, right? And it has a local coordinate system x. This is L over two and L over two. Well if you I'm gonna skip the step of writing it out individually, but basically what I want to do is I want to evaluate the in, this approximate function at each of the nodes and write it in matrix form. And if we do that, you know, so we, we wrote it out before, but now I'm just going to write it right in matrix form. So this is element one, two, three of this. I have one, zero, zero. 1, L over 2, L over 2 squared, 1, L, L squared, C1, C2, C3. All right, so everybody okay with what I did there? I, bet I just evaluated this function at each of the nodes. So I'd have U at node 1 is equal to one, zero, zero times C1, C2, C3, which is just C1, right? Because X is zero at node one. Okay, everybody okay with that? So I just wrote this in, in a matrix form. And again, this is U, this is A, this is C, all right? So earlier, we have that n, or u of h, is equal to n t u, right, in matrix form. And that is equal to x transpose c, where x is the interpolant. So x transpose, in this case, is 1x, x squared, right? So uh, this equation, what I wrote here, is nothing more than what's written there.
Okay, everybody see that? They're, they're exactly the same. It's just one is written out, one is written compactly in matrix form. All right. But if you look at this, look at look at this equation. You can also see here that U is a C, right? So if I plug in this here, then I have N A C is equal to X T C. Well, the C's cancel. And then I can multiply on the right-hand side by A inverse. So I'm going to multiply on the right-hand side by A inverse. And so that's going to give me N T A A inverse is equal to X T A inverse. Right? And so that is equal to NT X T A inverse. Right. So we have now a systematic way to develop the shape functions. Right. So another way to think of A is X evaluated at node 1 x evaluated at node 2, x evaluated at node 3, right? So that makes a matrix. Then all we have to do is invert that matrix and multiply it on the right-hand side by x transpose, and that gives us our shape function matrix. So it's a very systematic way to develop what the shape functions are. Okay, so uh, let's... For this one, we can do it real quickly, and um, so I'm just going to work here. Start here. So x is equal to one x x squared. And so then A is going to be X evaluated at node 1. So for node 1, X is equal to 0. For node 2, X is equal to L over 2. And for node 3, X is equal to L. Right? So this is a matrix. Okay? I know, I know it's a little hard to see, but it'll be clear in the video. So, so there's our A matrix. Then all we have to do is invert that. So then N is X times the inverse of A. There we go. Three shape functions. One, one, two, three. So those are the shape functions. And so then our approximation is just that times the displacements at the nodes. Uh, N I uh, U J. N J U J, right, where U J are the unknown displacements. Okay? So just real quick in the last five minutes or so,